One believing heart sets another on fire. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, connecting from all over Mother Earth. On this Casa Day, where the current is now flowing, from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. Here in Abidjania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another gorgeous day here, this gift sent by God Almighty to multiply our love light on earth. And believe it or not, it's cold. <laughs> we were wearing uh, hats and gloves this morning and socks in the current. Um, I guess our blood is a bit thin because we have such spectacular weather here, but it's beautiful. The sun is now shining brightly and there's not a cloud in the sky, but we have birds singing, bumblebees flying around and butterflies everywhere, reminding us of our transformation and that all things pass and all things are impermanent. And we are just travelers here on earth as we do the best we can in this lifetime now on earth. And we need to surrender. We've no control over anything. The weather. <laughs> it's very refreshing to have a change of weather. And we're being held in this majestic high vibration of Mother Earth. So we are grateful for this opportunity to come together as one family. Wherever you are in the world, relax. If you're lying down, great. If you're under crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, unencumbered, peacefully, fluidly. Pouring forth from our open hearts, filling Mother Earth with this majestic high vibration, this wonderful current of love and light. Put a glass of water beside you. This is blessed and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is totally necessary to go on this deep inner journey of the heart, The best sight is insight. We leave the material world behind with all of its stresses, problems, challenges, difficulties, and we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We're reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're so much more, much more than we could ever imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. So many entities of light and love working with us 24 seven. All we need to do is to reach out and ask with a contrite heart and we will receive everything we need and more for the journey. And today we consider the heart center. It's the final day of the month and this month was the month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And as we're working very much with the Christ Consciousness, which is all about love and forgiveness and the opening of our hearts. The Heart Chakra is in the middle of the systems of seven chakras in our physical bodies. It is related to love and is the integrator of opposites in the psyche, mind and body, male and female, persona and shadow, ego and unity. A healthy fourth chakra allows us to love deeply, feel compassion and have a deep sense of feeling. 
As the fourth chakra is placed in the center, the heart chakra is the doorway to our soul and it cannot be fully opened until we integrate the light and the dark within us all. We need to accept and understand our dualistic nature in order to transform into non-duality. It is our energetic heart that we learn to accept and love our vulnerabilities, limitations, hurt and pain so we can transcend the limited fear-based human ego and grow towards something greater and more expansive. Our heart is our spiritual core, which once fully activated, awakens our higher consciousness of wholeness and inner peace, ending duality of matter and spirit. When our energetic heart is fully open, we remember our divinity and allow the love of creation to flow through us, helping us to recognize the divinity in everyone and everything else in all of creation. This is unity consciousness. Fear blocks our flow of energy and causes energy to stagnate around our energy centers, resulting in physical imbalances. Being identified forever with our egos in many lifetimes of love being withheld, we have created energetic shields over our hearts to protect ourselves. We have shut down our energetic heart, blocking the continuous flow of divine love, disconnecting us from our intuitive powers and allowing our ego to take over. A balanced energetic heart center represents oneness with life, unconditional love, faith, peace, compassion, harmony, openness, healing, true forgiveness, courage, honesty, healthy relationships, balance in giving and receiving, emotional wisdom, joy, bliss, self-preservation and self-love. Unbalanced energetic heart centers represents and this is what is happening on the planet right now we are unbalanced separation conditional love controlling demanding critical judgmental jealous codependent and lack of empathy And we are experiencing traumas to our energetic heart center. Rejection, abandonment, betrayal, physical and emotional abuse, sexual abuse, death of a loved one, and divorce. And this all manifests in our physical heart center, blocking our heart center energy. We are experiencing heart disorders, circulatory dysfunctions, lung disorders, tension between our shoulders, weak immune systems. And to ignore this physical symptoms of our heart and keep treating it medically is similar to ignoring a plea for help from a loved one. Any physical symptoms we may be feeling only draws our attention towards opening our energetic heart by giving and receiving unconditional love that will in turn heal any imbalance. And it's interesting to note that heart disease remains the leading cause of death globally. So with this giant wake-up call on Earth, there is a lot 
going on. And we really need to focus on our heart centers. People often say to me, the world needs a miracle. And my response is, the world is getting a miracle. There are no coincidences, no accidents, ever. Earth and heart have the same letters. Mother Earth is crying out to us for respect and love and forgiveness. We can empower ourselves by working with our heart centers, not only to heal ourselves, but to heal the world. The earth is receiving a heart transplant and we are playing our part, however small, in this grand divine plan. So let us work together to multiply the love light to our hearts here on earth. As we turn now to our brother Jesus, who taught us to open our hearts. To love one another as he has loved us. And to love our neighbours as ourselves and to forgive ourselves and to forgive our brothers and sisters. And he gave us the Lord's Prayer teaching us how to pray, how to talk to our Creator, how to surrender to the will of God. How to forgive ourselves, to forgive our brothers and sisters, and how to embrace this gift of life we have been given, all of creation, in love, harmony, peace, joy, abundance, forgiveness, gratitude. As we pray with open hearts, trustingly, without ceasingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers will be answered always and in all ways. And today we bring you the Lord's Prayer from our beautiful sister Carolina in her language, Slovenian, teaching us that God speaks vibration. Our Father in Slovenian language, Oče naš, ki si v nebesih, posvečeno bodi tvoje ime, pridi k nam tvoje kraljestvo, zgodi se tvoja volja, kakor v nebesih, tako na zemlji. Daj nam danes naš vsakdani kruh in odpusti nam naše dolge, kakor tudi mi odpuščamo svojim dolžnikom in ne vpeli nas v skušnjavo, tem več reši nas kudega. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother, Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times on Earth as we go within on the journey of the heart, always, to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude, the faith, the hope, the humility, the patience, the abundance, the joy deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Hail Mary in Slovenian language. Zdrava Marija, milosti polna, gospod je s teboj. Blagoslovljena si med ženami in blagoslovljena z grešnike. Zdaj in ob naši smrtni uri. Amen.
As we navigate these challenging times on Mother Earth, we are coming to realize that our mission here and now and in all past lifetimes 
is to open our hearts. We are enrolled in the school of life. And we're learning the art of living and dying well and bringing this learning and teaching into every aspect of our daily lives, mind, body and spirit. We are mostly learning to love ourselves, to love our brothers and sisters. Not easy. What you see in others exists in you. And when we're busy pointing our fingers, there's a few pointing back at us. And we're learning to forgive ourselves and to forgive our brothers and sisters. I still don't understand why this is so very difficult for most of us. We're holding on to energies that are really making us ill. Weakening our heart. We need to just trust, have faith, let go and surrender. Handing everything over to our creator, liberating ourselves. Loving more, forgiving more. Growing in love and light together as one heart. Realizing that that is all there is, love light. And we are part of this wonderful God consciousness part of creation, resonating, vibrating higher and higher with this love light, our very essence. And all that matters at the end of our earthly lives is how much did we love, how much did we let go, forgive. We need to make that critical journey from the head, our egos, into our heart center. It may be only 12 or 13 inches, but this is the longest, most difficult journey we will ever make through all of our lifetimes. Now is the time. There's never been a better time. And our connection through the portal of the Casa is helping us to make this critical journey from our heads to our hearts. This is our mission on earth. As we wake up to our divine essence. Scientists will tell us that the universe is made of matter. But we know that the universe is made of love. And there is a bigger picture, more than meets our physical eye. We need to see with the eyes of our soul. It is not your back that hurts. It's the burden. It's not your eyes that hurt. It's the injustice. It's not your head that hurts. It's your thoughts. It's not your throat that hurts. It's what you don't express or what you say with anger. It's not your stomach that hurts. It's what your soul does not digest. It's not your liver that hurts. It's your anger. And it's not your heart that hurts. It is your love. And it is your love itself that contains the most powerful medicine. Ah, 
Amen.
Trust in the Lord. God is with you. Fear is not enough. Pray without ceasing. Don't lose hope, guys. I trust in you. Be not afraid. And I will give
Music is the food of love. And we are back here now on Earth after so many lifetimes. And we have so many tools to help us to open our hearts. And we are forgetting that we chose to be here. We've come back to Earth to learn these challenging lessons that we didn't learn before. In this, the school of life. And we're not perfect beings yet, we're working on it. And we need to stop giving ourselves a hard time, we're doing the best we can. We're learning to recognize the signposts on the path. And the beauty of the casa is that our connection with all of the entities is helping us to really go on the heart journey, which is the only journey. And it's not an easy journey. There's no part of the human condition that doesn't involve some kind of suffering. The wounds are where the light gets in. And everywhere we go, on earth, there is love there. It manifests in different ways. I was many years here in Abhijania before I saw the root system of the tree in the waterfall was the shape of a human heart. And it gave me such joy. And I took a mental picture of it. And I close my eyes and I see it. I see it now. The universe is made of love. And we are love and we are light. And we are resonating with this amazing high vibration. Be not afraid of love, for it can also heal all sorrow. Fail not in your function of loving in a loveless place made out of darkness and deceit. For thus are darkness and deceit undone. The holiest of all spots on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present love. Love cannot be far behind a grateful heart and a thankful mind. There is no room in us for fear today. For we have welcomed love into our hearts we are deceived no longer. Love has now returned to our awareness and we are at peace again. For fear has gone and only love remains. Love holds no guidances. When we let all of our grievances go, we will know that we are perfectly safe. Love is the ultimate power. Amen.
such a long time since I saw you. Where have you been? What took you so long? It's been running slowly to sing you this song. Friendship has always been so important to me. I guess it's really easy to see. Stay with me, please. Stay with me, please. 
It's only a choice between love and fear. Fear is the thief of our peace. Let's choose love every time. Let us relax now into our physical bodies. Our hard work is over for now. As we are open to receive a deep, deep cleansing from on high. As you give, so it will be given you. Keeping our eyes closed now to the end of the work and be open to receive these miraculous blessings now through the portal of the casa as we take a long slow gentle deep deep breath into the heart center the center of our being breathing in the future with all of its hope promise joy love forgiveness humility patience gratitude peace Faith, awareness, respect, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood. As we breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, anything and everything that no longer serves us, letting go more and more. Trusting, having faith and believing that we are being healed always and in always. Through the sacred heart of Jesus. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Strong green oak trees with hearts as roots, purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine symphony, joyfully, happily. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. It's already happening. The shift is on. Let go. Carpets of magnificent, colorful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. God is abundant. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth. Take heart, take courage, surrender. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. Let's dedicate ourselves ultimately to this work of liberation. Handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling and there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, desperate, fearful, angry, frustrated, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps. We're all children of God, no exceptions, they need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, this extraordinary heat in Canada and the US. Fires, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, famine, drought. God is merciful and will hear our prayers. 
and let's bring medium to our into this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems at the Casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending these beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high pouring into our open hearts, let's share our bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love light to go around. Bringing this high vibration now into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or hungry. This God light pouring into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, unrest, disharmony, conflict, fighting, bringing the peace of God, not only for us, but for future generations to come. St. Reed is always with us too, God, all things are possible. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up. To our divine essence, we're all children of the source, no exceptions. And let's start simply by putting people before profit, it's not difficult. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth is bouncing back, hallelujah, praise God. God is great, miracles abound. Right here, right now. This almighty, all compassionate, all loving, all forgiving, all encompassing, high vibration, enveloping Gaia. Earth and heart have the same letters. The earth is receiving a heart transplant to the sacred heart of Jesus. Growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnage and disincarnate, all creatures, great and small, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be happy, healthy, joyful, loving, forgiving, living in the heart center, the center of our being, respectful, compassionate, faithful, trusting, prayerful, mindful, come together in brotherhood and sisterhood and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
pass me, bask in this heart opening, high vibration, cleansing, healing energy pouring from the heavens into our open hearts. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness, one family, under the banner of the castle of Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, there is a bigger picture. We are not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. Our very essence is love light. And we are growing into this high vibration. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. Take heart, take courage, the best is yet to come. And thank you God for sending all of your messengers of love. So many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love with us every step of this journey through thick and thin. They too had bodies once or twice, so they know all about the human condition, they know all about us, they see our suffering, and they know exactly what we need. They're helping us to open our hearts. We are in gratitude. That we are not alone. We are greatly loved and supported by the divine power. And thank you always for sending our beautiful brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, all of the Christ consciousness. And our divine mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to realize that life is short. And there's many lessons to learn down here. And they're not easy right now. And this suffering is necessary for us to grow. We're experiencing growing pains. And we're equipped with everything we need and more for the journey. We've been here before. And when the lessons are learned, we will be liberated into the open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again, coming together in this sacred hour or so, to be open, to give and receive, to learn these hard lessons. As we take this leap of faith together, for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk the spiritual path, to open our hearts, which is our mission on earth, to let go for your faith, your hope, your humility, your patience. Your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service. written on the walls of the entity's room in Portuguese and English. It's a reminder. Faith moves mountains. 
and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, your extended family, all of those around you, and Mother Earth, and your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts, is changing the world forever, for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We're back here on Earth, we have a job to do. Rise up, light workers of the world. United we stand. We rise by lifting others. We're just walking each other home. Children of God. Stay elevated in the heart center. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray. With open hearts. without ceasing, trustingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in all ways. As we learn to surrender, to trust, to have faith, to believe in the power of our Creator. All is in divine order, we're exactly where we're meant to be. I am that I am. Dear God, please open our hearts. Dear God, please open our bodies and let your spirit touch us and heal us. Dear God, show us the way to love and give more of ourselves. Dear God, please give us your peace. Dear God, show us the way to do your will. Thank you, God. Amen. Love. Loving. Love. Namaste.